Hello everyone, this is Alfie and you're watching Road to the Warzone episode 18, I think, I think it's 18, uh, painting Lieutenant Massaro. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to continue painting my, my unpainted miniatures, okay, I'm going back to Mishima uh, because I have a game on Sunday, I'm going to, to fight uh, the wolf paints. I'll try to, to get a battle report for that, you know, I don't know if you know, the <laughs> logistics will, will make it possible, but at least I'll get photos and a little bit of a, of a battle report for sure. And uh, for that I want to try and have uh, as many as many miniatures painted as possible, so that it looks nice on the, on the tabletop. So, uh, Lieutenant Masara, Ronin Samurai, uh, one personality, one hero, and I wanted to subvert the uh, the normal colors of the Ronin Samurai, okay? So let's take a look at, uh, at how I did it and, well, hope you like it. Here we go, so let's uh, let's start painting uh, Lieutenant uh, Masaru. Okay, as you can see, I've done my usual um, priming black with a little bit of, uh, of white sprayed from the top. And uh, if you remember the unboxing video, link on top, um, had a couple of problems, you know, with the banner. I decided to just stick it back in, and also, I don't know if you can appreciate, but over here, I I broke his foot, uh, but I I just super glued it and added a bit of sodium bicarbonate and then primed it again. Just lost a bit of the of the white, you know, highlight that came here, but barely knows. Okay, um, so. I saw um, a beautiful, doing a bit of research, I saw a beautiful photo of a, of a Japanese yoroi uh, or the samurai armor and I'm going to try to mimic that. that. Okay, so now I'm going to apply a base coat with the airbrush and I'm going to mix um, clear orange to uh, metal medium. Okay, I think it's going to be a 50-50 mix. And to that mix I'm going to, to add 90% um, Right, now that I have all the major bits done, I uh, have uh, two options. Okay, I can do some detail in the Hakama and uh, the, the arms, okay, the, the cloth, you know, that he's wearing under the, the armor, or um, paint some black in the, kind of like, you know, some black lines in the, in the armor, like in the, like in the model photograph. So that uh, requires its highlighting, so I think I'm going to go for that. Okay, I'll do that now. Well, it's not, uh, it's not a disaster, an absolute disaster, but um, I went off the, the line a little bit. You know, the line is too thick here, so it's always a good idea to, to have another brush ready with the original color, so I can paint over there the, the mistakes, okay, 
just go with it. Here we go. Not perfect, but it contributes to the to the overall look of the, the samurai armor. Okay, uh, as I have the blackout, I'll, I'll do his hair. I'm going to ignore the legs because I don't. I mean, I don't see any horizontal lines that can be decorated with black. So I'll just leave it like that. So as, as you can see, I've concluded the, the yoroi, okay, with the black stripes, uh, also in the the arms. <laughs> Looks like a tiger a little bit. Uh, I can appreciate it. There we go. Um, also, what I've done is uh, to simulate that yoroi effect. I mean, uh, the original photograph had some kind of like lines of uh, gold or some sort of metallic, you know, kind of like brassy. So I've kind of mixed that and you know just added a few brushes there okay what i'm going to do here now is um as you know these arms have been and um, katana and wakizashi which by the way i've also painted okay it's basically black with a bit of uh, shading to simulate the highlight um uh, old cold orange but you know the way i normally paint katanas and i've also to preserve uh, to preserve it because they break very very easily i've already giving it a bit of uh, matte varnish. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, for these pouches a mixture of flat earth and uh, ochre for the highlights and for the um, for the canteen and, um, and the grenade. Um, again, um, use that green and Russian uniform for the for the highlights. So I'll do that now. Alright, so I'll tell you about uh, my progress so far. Uh, what I want to do is uh, get rid of all the, you know, tiny details before I can uh, glue the, the arms. Okay, so I, I want to, to do everything that's in the way. Alright, so I've done the, uh, the submachine gun. It's gun metal grey and silver for the highlights. I've done the details on the belts. And um, I've done the flesh in the hands and in the, in the face. Okay, and uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, the final bit before I can I can glue the amps. Oh, I've also done the, the stick here. Okay, I haven't painted the banner yet, but you know, I've painted the, the, the stick that holds. Um, so as I was saying, um, what I want to do now is, uh, if you look at the original photo for the Yoroi, um, there's like a pattern, okay, so I'm going to mix um, German uniform to a little bit of black and uh, let's hope for the best. I'm going to do, I'm going to draw some some patterns in the Hakama and in the, in the arms, okay, so we'll do that now.
that's the decorative pattern. Always turn to the like a vegetable pattern. Okay. Um, and I'm having second thoughts because I'm thinking if I stick the arms and the katanas now, I'm not going to be able to, you know, later on, you know, the brush won't reach uh, when I do the, the shading. So, you know, to apply the wash inside the arms and all that, it's going to be a bit messy. So I'll just carry on painting. So I'll go on with the, with the panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix off-white to a little bit of uh, whatever, um, what's his name? Uh, flash glitz, glitz yellow, okay, to get to create like a nice ivory, okay. Well, so as you can see, I got a bit carried away, and I decided to just go on ahead and and do everything I could. Okay, so um, so the base, uh, you can see I've based him. I finished the tabby and the sandals. Uh, the base is exactly the same as um, as uh, I normally do Mishima's bases. Okay, it's kind of like my vision of uh, Mercury. Okay, which is the the home planet. Um, if you want to see how I do it link. Um, what else have I done? Of course I've glued the arms and the katanas. I've made a terrible mistake because that's not the way you, you do Yaido. This arm should be in the tsuba, in the hand guard, uh, ready to kind of like click it out rather than you know holding the handle, but it's, it's too late now. <laughs> okay, so I painted the banner uh, with those rings that are holding the, the banner, the stick. Um, and uh, a cheeky little nod to one of my favorite samurai movies. Uh, let me know if you if you can guess what's in the in the banner. But I think it's very easy. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the shading. Okay. So what I've done is I've mixed you know different uh, vallejo um, shades because none of the colors is uh, what are uh, what what I'm looking for. Okay. So for the banner, for example, I have. Uh, Pale grew uh, four drops of pale, pale grey, sorry, to one of uh, black. Uh, for the hakama and the uh, sleeves, I have uh, four drops of uh, blue wash to one, I think. I think it's one, yeah, of uh, black wash. For the armor, I have no orange wash, so I've mixed two drops of sepia to four drops of uh, red. And for the flesh, I'm uh, mixing uh, flesh wash, so that's approximately four drops to one of pale grey. Okay, so that gives us, gives us a lighter, a lighter color. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to to do the shading. I'll start with the with the armor. Very important that I that I remove the excess, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, mess with the color. All right. So let's go. Let's start with the armor.
here you have them after the shading okay it's not 100% finished uh, just yet I'm gonna get some more light here okay see if I can get a closer look without losing the light there we go okay um, so this is this is Lieutenant uh, Masaru okay uh, I've also uh, done a bit of dry brushing on, on, on his feet to simulate the, the muddy you know terrain you know sort of thing so um, what I would need to, to do now is uh, do a couple of retouches in his face. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but I don't like the way that the shading, you know, the, the washes uh, made, it, made him look. And uh, also to, to paint half of the, of the base red to mark the front and the, and the back. And then varnish. And I'm going to use matte varnish and gloss varnish for the armored bits, although I think it looks fine as it is. I'll see. I think I think I'll I'll still use gloss varnish, but you never know. I changed my mind quite a lot. Okay, so I'll show you how I do the the base the green one. Right, so here you here you have Lieutenant Masaru completely finished, except for a few retouches. But hey, okay, so there you go. It's varnished and everything, and well, I'm quite happy with the result, to be honest. All right, so there you go. Okay, so that was Lieutenant Masaru. Um, I'm generally quite happy with the result. Um, not exactly what I had in mind, but you know, in general, quite quite similar. I'll I'll give him some retouches when I have a when I have a minute. Uh, however, um, a bit of a waste of time to do the patterns, you know, the decorative patterns in the hakama and all that, because with the wash, really disappear. But anyway, bits and pieces you learn from experience. Um, so that's it for this week. Thank you very much for being there. As per usual, please uh, like, th uh, share. Uh, Talk about me, you know, you know that. Carry on, subscribe, etc., uh, etc. Et All right. Um, for next week, I think I'll continue with Mishima. If nothing happens, nothing strange happens. So um, I'll see you then. Okay.